above the rock. Sunrise. The Bay of Gibraltar. And that's Spain. And then that's Africa on the other side. We're going to go around these tankers and then back to the other side of the Rock of Gibraltar. The Pillars of Hercules. That's Africa. Europe. The Strait of Gibraltar. Yes, awesome. And all of that, Spain. For a long time. <laughs> behind you Thursday December 1st 2022 and we are sailing again the wind is lighter than the models forecast so after a while we start the motor then the motor begins to sputter but we know that we can sail and the views are great. Hold on, I'm cleaning my teeth. We have a busted motor, but we don't care, right? <laughs> We're a sailboat. <laughs> well, maybe we do care. <laughs> the motor's not busted. The fuel system sucks. Darn! It doesn't suck. That's the problem. <laughs> That's right. It's not sucking. It's gummed up with um, bacterial growth in the tank. But we sailed off the anchor next to the beach. That was scary. But we were able to get off. We did. And, uh, Quite well. Now we're doing about four knots. Off that point. Getting out into the wind and gonna head to Cartagena. Since we don't have the luxury of motoring into an anchorage, we're going to sail to Cartagena and, and sail into an anchorage <laughs> <laughs> over there. And we're gonna do it. We're gonna succeed. Cause we're a sailboat. Sail should help turn us a little bit down that way too. Yeah. 
We're moving along. Nice. on our way to Cartagena. Finally, the next day we get good wind. It's beautiful, but it's cloudy. The solar panels need sun to charge the batteries and the refrigerator is feeling it. Here we are so excited to be rounding Cabo de Gata and getting closer to Cartagena. Sadly, our refrigerator stops working. We've had several cloudy days and partly sunny skies are not enough to fully recharge the batteries. We are on a port. At night, the wind changed dramatically. The wind was at our bow from the direction of Cartagena, forcing us to tack post hauled. Tacking became a challenge with the growing waves. We made little progress in the next 24 hours, and the wind was expected to build to 30 plus knots during the day. So the captain chose a more comfortable option of running before the wind, and the crew was happy. We read and heard good things about Marina Motrell, so Mark corresponded with Marina before we left Gibraltar. by sail only and so now we're just being towed into the marina just for the last part all right captain i'll follow him We learn later Roberto, who towed us in, is the owner of the marina. They tried to turn us around to be pulled in stern first, but the boat was too heavy against the wind. So we were pulled in bow first. This is our first time in the Mediterranean doing mid mooring, so we were happy to have help. Fifty 
57 gallons is 215 liters. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, I hope. <laughs> again now? <laughs> the fuel is sucking out of the tank. <laughs> it's Into supposed the to. <laughs> four of them for the yeah. four cylinder Yan Mon. Welcome to Madrid, Spain. You know, sweetheart, I'm sorry about this, but the thing about European hotel rooms is how small they are. I know you're going to feel really cramped here. <laughs>